Good morning, folks. We've got all kinds of eye candy in today's show. From a Nova remnant by James Webb to a pulsar wind nebula in x-rays to maps of El Nino impacts on food production and the SWAT sea level data. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find one corona hold departing on the north and perhaps another incoming on the south. The sunspot groups continued growing but have failed to produce any significant flaring. There are several plasma filaments as well snaking around the corona between the active regions. You can see both the bright sunspot areas here and the thin dark plasma filaments. Last day of October, we've said for a while that the end of the month or beginning of November should be when the next uptick begins, and we are eyes open for that in the coming days. First eye candy in the articles is a new shot of the Crab Nebula. On the right is Hubble, and on the left is the newest one from James Webb. You can see a lot more detail in the James Webb shot here as it pierces the dusty veil and reveals a ton of detail in the remnant structure. Up next, they believe they are looking at a Pulsar Wind Nebula, the remnant of a star that underwent a major death-like process and now blasts away plasma that is only visible in X-ray light. Chandra's article includes not only the video, but a comparison of what the area looks like to the observer without X-ray vision, and then both the Chandra and IXPE revealing what looks like a cosmic hand outstretched in space. Spooky sight on a spooky day. Up next, we come to the El Nino food growing impact map. Hot colors represent negative impact crops, while the purple and bluish hues show where they expect better growing conditions. Asia, Australia, and Africa tend to struggle in El Nino seasons, while the USA and Middle East have the most benefit from this weather pattern. Lastly, folks, the new SWAT data showing sea levels. Yellow to red is above average, and blue is below average, and it's important to notice that it is a huge mix of both. We've said it before many times, and this shows it again now. There is as much below average sea level as there is above average. If anything, the extremes are amplifying rather than an overall sea level rise. We greatly appreciate your support. Key resource links are found in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.